In this lecture, we will discuss the details for direct lighting, which you will need for homework 2. Our motivation is as follows. Homework 2 is to get you started using Monte Carlo integration for direct lighting. This lecture goes through the details of lighting, visibility, and Monte Carlo for the assignment, and also discusses analytic methods in addition to numerical Monte Carlo integration. This is a nuts and bolts lecture that goes over the whole homework and tells you step by step what you need to do. We will be using area light sources in this lecture. In earlier ray tracing assignments, you used point or directional light sources. However, there are no point light sources in the real world. The physically accurate lights are area lights. In this case, you can actually associate a radiance value with the area light, and you can talk in terms of the radiance at the surface of the area light. Moreover, area lights enable physically based effects such as soft shadows, they enable partial visibility and occlusion. In fact, we will need to shoot multiple rays to the light source and average the results at each pixel to enable soft shadows. In order to get the accurate result, you will need the full rendering equation, which we will discuss in the next homework assignment. In this homework assignment, you will only deal with direct lighting, and therefore the reflection equation suffices. I will put up this slide showing this image of the plant that I rendered in a SIGGRAPH paper 20 years ago. You will notice that there are very nice soft shadows here. It is obtained by integrating the area light source and handling challenges such as visibility, blockers, varying lighting distributions over the source, in this homework assignment, we'll assume a uniform source, but that's something you could handle. We will review the reflection equation now. Consider a spatial location x, incident direction omega in, and reflected direction omega r. The reflected light, or the output image, or the output radiance at spatial location x and outgoing direction omega r, is equal to the emission from light sources plus the incident light from the light source times the BRDF of the surface and the cosine of the incident angle. If you have multiple light sources in the scene, you simply sum over all of the light sources. And as you integrate over an area light source or over the hemisphere, you replace the sum with an integral. In the homework assignment, for simplicity, we have focused on one spatial location or one pixel. In this case, we can drop the spatial coordinate and write the reflection equation only in terms of angular directions for a single spatial point or a single pixel. It's the same reflection equation. The reflected light is equal to the emission plus the integral of the incident light from the area light source, the BRDF, and the cosine of the incident angle. Notice that this cosine is clamped to zero, so you get incident light only from the visible or upper hemisphere, where the surface normal dot product with the incident direction is greater than zero. However, for simplicity in the assignment, in many cases, we do not explicitly write the max operation shown here. You must still include the max in your practical implementation. 